Why health experts say not to eat tilapia and salmon. Wondering how to make the best of your health with seafood? Well, we all know that going out or cooking seafood can be a great experience. It's a different setting, it's exotic, and it's also a great way to get vital nutrients and vitamins. Take tilapia fish for example. It's the most popular farmed fish in America because it's the most affordable. In most cases, seafood is very expensive because of the essential vitamins it contains, which can limit people from consuming it. So it is no surprise that the most affordable fish is the most purchased. With that said, health experts have now issued a warning telling people to stay as far away from tilapia fish as possible. Keep watching to find out why. Before we begin this video, make sure you subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss out on all of our awesome life hacks, tips, and tricks from your number one bestie. It lacks nutrients. One of the main reasons experts are signaling to stay away from tilapia is because it contains very few nutrients. According to researchers from Wake Forest University School of Medicine, tilapia fish scored much lower on the omega-3 fatty acid content than most other fish. Alzheimer's risk. The omega-3 fatty acids is what give fish the most of their benefits, which includes Alzheimer's risk reduction. What tilapia does contain is a large amount of omega-6 fatty acids, which are not good for you. Take this in. There are more omega-6 fatty acids in tilapia fish than there are in a hamburger or bacon. While omega-3 fatty acids can reduce the risk of Alzheimer's, omega-6 fatty acids can potentially cause cancer. One of the omega-6 fatty acids that are present in tilapia fish is called arachidonic acid. This compound increases inflammation that precedes Alzheimer's. Do you know what other type of fish you might cook often is also considered dangerous to eat and is harmful to our health? Well, keep watching. Because after we tell you about the health risks associated with tilapia, we'll tell you about another type of fish that may be dangerous to eat. Farmed fish. Most tilapia fish is farmed. It is actually the second most farmed fish in the entire world. The main reason is because of the fish's hardiness. It has the ability to eat just about anything. This is good for farmers, but not so good for consumers. Normally, farmers would have to spend money on fish food, but instead, they feed tilapia pig poop and chicken. Cancer Risk Not only can tilapia increase the chances of Alzheimer's, but it also has the ability to cause cancer. One toxic chemical that has been found in the fish is dioxin, the compound that has been linked to the development and progression of cancer. The concern about this compound is that your body is unable to flush it out for about seven to 10 years. This means that if you have high levels of dioxin in your body, the chances of you developing cancer are increased. Healthy alternatives. Wondering how to cook or find different types of seafood for dinner that aren't tilapia or salmon? Well, we've got some good alternatives for you so that you can still make your dinner the best it can be. So if you are a fish lover and an unfortunate tilapia consumer, you should consider an alternative. The healthiest fish that you could consume is freshwater coho salmon. It contains between 700 to 1800 milligrams of omega-3 fatty acids, making it one of the top choices for fish. Sardines. Now this next dinner choice may not be anyone's favorite, but it's extremely healthy for you. Sardines have been labeled as one of the world's superfoods. It packs more omega-3 fatty acids 1950 milligrams per three ounce serving than a serving of salmon. It is also very high in vitamin D as well. If you're wondering how to come up with some good recipes for dinner with sardines, remember, Google is always your friend. Now that you know about the health risks associated with tilapia, here are the health risks associated with another extremely popular fish, farmed salmon. After watching this video, you may just decide not to cook seafood ever again. Environmental Issues 
a respected Norwegian environmental activist by the name of Kurt Odekalv, believes that the farming of salmon is a disaster both for the environment and for human health. Among the Norwegian fjords that contain salmon farms, there is said to be a layer of waste about 15 meters high, consisting of bacteria, drugs, and pesticides. The seafloor is apparently destroyed, and due to the sea farms being situated in open water, there is no way to contain the pollution as a result of these farms. Upwards of 2 million salmon can't be held in crowded spaces, with the crowded conditions leading to disease that spreads rapidly through the stressed salmon. Odekalv reports that sea lice, as well as infectious salmon anemia virus, has spread across Norway, while consumers are not informed of the fish pandemics and continue to purchase diseased fish. Toxins Despite fish always being known as healthy food, Odekalv proclaims that today's farmed salmon is one of the most toxic foods in the world. Jerome Rusin, a toxicology researcher, has confirmed these claims. Having tested a number of different food groups sold in Norway for toxins, he has determined that farmed salmon contains the greatest amount of toxins among them by an incredibly large margin. It has been concluded that farmed salmon is, in fact, five times more toxic than any other product tested. Harmful to children and pregnant women Dr. Anne-Lise Birch Monson, a prominent biologist at the University of Bergen, Norway, stated, I do not recommend pregnant women, children, or young people eat farmed salmon. It is uncertain in both the amount of toxins salmon contain and how these drugs affect children, adolescents, and pregnant women. She adds that the contaminants detected in farmed salmon have a negative effect on the brain's development, associated with autism, as well as having an effect on other organ systems in the body's immune system and metabolism. Cancer According to Living Traditionally, eating more than one meal of farmed raised salmon in a month can increase your risk of developing cancer in the future due to the salmon containing cancer-causing chemicals and high levels of dioxins. Furthermore, farmed salmon is also said to provide your body with higher levels of inflammation, which leads to many diseases, namely cancer, diabetes, arthritis, and Alzheimer's. The evidence is conclusive that farmed salmon is essentially both damaging to our bodies and the environment. Despite fish being one of the healthiest foods we can eat, we need to be mindful about choosing the right fish in the industrial age. Documentaries continue to surface with facts and research that have people thinking twice about consuming processed foods and any animal products as well. There are many great alternative fish and food choices that are handled in a healthier way for our consumption, and it's important to stay aware and informed of what you eat and how it got to your plate. It's safe to say that oftentimes we overlook what is behind the food that is in front of us. With the growing movement of people straying away from animal product consumption, we are naturally beginning to learn more about why people are cutting out this aspect of their diets. Filet fish by director Nicholas Daniels takes a critical look at the fishing industry, investigating fish farms and factories all over the world in an extensive initiative towards educating people on the fish they consume. Though our perception of fishing is rather romanticized, according to Healthy Holistic Living, when it comes to large-scale food production, it's an entirely different story. So, what do you think? Do you eat a lot of tilapia or salmon? What are some healthy alternatives to tilapia and salmon that you like to eat? Let us know in the comment section below. Enjoyed this video? Hit the like button and share with your friends. Also, subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.